This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Homeworld Complex, and we are playing the Evo campaign. So we are now fighting the Iron Array frigates. These Iron Array frigates are trying to destroy our motherships. I gotta turn my headset down a little bit, that was kinda loud. And um, we need to, uh, I guess we will launch these and build our bombers that we will need to beat this mission. Now, one of you guys in the last build actually gave me a pretty good idea. Um, why don't we fight these guys in um, sphere formation? Because if you guys remember, sphere formation is the strongest and is the best Sphere formation is the best, um, is the most aggressive and the most defensive formation you can have. <clears throat> and the main reason why, why aren't you guys actually targeting, oh you are, you're just not looking at it. And the reason why it's the most aggressive is, uh, uh just on the launch stuff, is uh, because as you can see they just sit there and pumble the enemy. It's also the most defensive because if you have your these guys in sphere formation guarding the enemy ship, um, they will just uh, they will just uh, protect the the ship in a sphere formation and just shoot their guns. The only problem is is they don't use their engines or anything because they're just sitting there in defensive formation. But they will just sit above them and just pummel the enemy. And you need to rearm. I think we're going to go ahead and keep these ships docked for now. Hopefully, I explained that correctly. I probably didn't, though. Oh, you guys, spear formation. Boop. And boop. There we go. Cue a lot more bombers. But so far, that definitely does seem to be working out more. Let's wait until we have a full squadron of fighters and then we'll launch them in spear formation and do as much damage as we possibly can. All right, carrier, you need to get closer. I don't know if we're gonna win this first round. It may take a couple times, but we'll see. So we have four made, need two more. And then after this first round is launched, we'll just keep replenishing it. It's number five. There we go, carrier. Just attack anything you can see. I believe they also made the mothership have more health. I may have explained this earlier. But I think the mothership has... No, it does not have 10% more health. Alright. It thought it did. Never mind. All right, bombers. Give me all six of you. Spear. Attack that one. Do maximum amount of damage. Kill it. There you go. Now you're doing some damage. Boom, boom, boom. Everything shoot at him. There you go. Okay, yeah, that has helped me out big time. I don't know why I totally forgot about sphere formation. Because the problem was, is these guys just fly around so much that they just don't do enough damage. So he's already dead. Cool, attack the next one. Boop, 
Boom, 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 boom. Come on, can we get him down to a decent level before our guys start dying in the radiation? Come on, at least half, maybe. Got him past half, that's good. Carrier, you move a little bit closer. There you go. Spear, kill him. Get close to him and kill him. There you go. There we go. It's two. Ugh, this is gonna be close, but this is a lot easier than last time. I can already tell that I might. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this on my first try, but we are commander. Cool. I don't think we can build two ships at the same time, but we're gonna go ahead and get our Corvette facility built. Because I might be able to use the Pulsar gunships. Okay, we'll wait till you die. There we go. This is gonna be close. Tronic Raiders aren't taking any damage in radiation, but we can kill this one. Should be pretty good. Nope, we only built one ship at a time. Alright. Okay. There we go. Alright, you guys kill him. Ooh. Aww. Dang it! I was like, ooh, he's attacking my carrier. Is that, did they make it to where when you kill three of them they start attacking your carrier? But no, it's because he killed the mothership. Alright, cool. Hang on. I'm gonna go reload. Alrighty. Let's auto launch. Build us a bunch of bombers. Move you over here. You guys, spear, aggressive. Kill this one. Carrier, you need to rearm all of these. Switch over to kinetic weapons. Construction underway. Assembly underway. Subsystem construction complete. Births are clear. Assembly underway. Acknowledged. Here we go. Get you in position. Let's get ready to kill this thing. And honestly... Oh, I should have kamikaze you. Hang on. Okay, um... Let me make sure I explain how the sphere formation works. I believe I explained it, but I don't know. I think I was kind of rushing it because I was focusing on other things. The way the sphere formation works is if you have it in a, um, um, if you uh, have it in sphere formation until to defend the target, it will put all the ships around you and it will defend the ship um, as you're moving through space. That makes it the, um, um, the most a powerful defensive ship that there is. But if you put them in a defensive and tell them to attack the enemy, they'll surround the enemy in sphere formation and just pummel them with weapons, making it the most aggressive tactic there is. The only downside is, obviously, they aren't moving, so they're extremely vulnerable to attack. But these guys are completely focused on the mothership, so they're not going to notice my ships in sphere formation. Alright, did uh... Get your kinetic weapons going. Okay. Start attacking that one. 
You guys stay in sphere formation. There we go. Start attacking. There you go. I wish my fighters would last a little bit longer. That would be nice. There we go. That's one killed. Three to go. Alright, two done. We are now a commander again. I'm gonna go ahead and build my Corvette facility. Probably not gonna use it. But, uh, yeah. So far, doing okay. The mothership's down to about a third of a health. Don't know if we're gonna win this. But we will try. Okay, we are down to one. We are down to one frigate. Hopefully we can kill this before the mothership dies and uh, we will be done with this part. <laughs> oh, the mothership is getting really, really low. Come on, guys. You can do this. I believe in you. Kill that last iron array frigate. The only problem about this is we have to wait so long for the for the uh, bombers to get in their um, position so they can kill the enemy. Because by the time they get in their position, one dies and then they have to recycle all their positions again. It's kind of annoying. Oh, it's so close. Oh my god, the mothership's going to die. I just know it. Yep, mothership just died. Dang it! So freaking close! Okay, this time... What I'm going to do is once we get the ability to build corvettes, I'm going to start spamming out corvettes and then putting them in sphere formation since they'll have more armor and more firepower. Even though bombers are good against these types, their armor just doesn't survive long enough in the um, radiation to really make them useful. I could also do this too. Have them like in small formations instead of having them all in one big formation. That might make a difference. Yeah, that's making a pretty big difference. Because now they're not moving around as much. So we're going to keep them in groups of two then. Oh yeah, that's making a big difference. Because the problem is they just move around a little bit too much. And when that happens, they just, they don't do enough damage. They just keep moving around in their formation. Okay, I may have found the secret. So that one's already dead. Guys, kill this one now. Focus on him. You, when your next buddy gets built, put you in spear formation and tell you to attack it. Oh yeah, this is much better. Our mothership is only at half and I already killed half of them. Before it used to be like around a third. So we should be able to win this by just keeping our sphere formation in groups of two so they don't move around so much when their buddies die. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is so much easier. This this one's about to die. Come on, Iron Array Frigate. Die! There we go. We are now commander. We are now taking care of the uh, last one. And um, our mothership is still a little bit over a third of health. So, this is awesome. I don't, I don't even have the carrier helping at the moment. He's just standing there. So cool. I think we've found the secret. You have to use sphere formation so they minimize the amount of time flying around to uh, kill their target. And then do small groups of spheres of two ships and then they'll just sit there and attack because the reason we weren't doing too good the last round is they were too busy flying around and whenever one of their ships died they would rotate the formation then attack they wouldn't um, so they would waste so much time doing that and then by the time they finally get in position the next ship would die so doing this 
seems to be helping out big time. Let's go ahead and get rid of these, because that Iron Array frigate died, and the mothership still has about a third of a health left. Hooray! That was awesome. And I still don't have these things built on my carrier. It sure is. All my ships are going to die. Impact from the past. Obscure revelations. The mothership is safe once again. Station one. We are reading the onboard data. The transmission comes from far away. We cannot trace the source. It seems the mothership is a huge radio bridge. Someone is using it and wants to communicate with us. Oh. The transmission comes from another galaxy or dimension. Who speaks is a scientist. She was inside the mothership. She led the mothership here. And the three hyperspace cores were unified. She speaks of the one known as Karen Sajet. Her name is Karen Sajet. I freaking knew it. This message has been flowing through the universe for over 100 years. Karen sacrificed herself to get it here. She is warning us, because something evil is going to happen. The evil are upon us. The universe, the stars, everything is in danger. There really exists a great network of hyperspace gates, and it is possible to cross them. The reunification of the three was just the final piece of this vision. The most ancient and evil race of the universe it has created this with a single view. The extinction of life, except the origin, themselves, the progenitors. They call this the purification. Hmm, indeed. The purification process they starts now. Because they know that Karen's jet has betrayed them. They know that the Chosen One, the Renegade, has stolen their technology and knowledge and is giving them to her people. To us. The Exiles. Karen Sijet has learned how to use the hyperspace network. She sent the hyperspace core to who found her mothership. Karen wants to protect the last hope of the universe. The hyperspace core is arriving. Awesome. You go track down this evil and prevent it from spreading throughout the galaxy. We have the coordinates. They point here. It's a space-time warp. It seems to be able to absorb the whole universe at any moment. We believe it's an hyperspace gate of the Great Network. Karen is sending the core, and once we go there... Wants us to go there. <laughs> Still, but once we go there. Okay. So now we get to grab the hyperspace core um, once we get the mothership Please repaired help. and stuff. The alarm level is maximum. Stop all activities and wait for orders. We are sending support ships to repair the mothership. New advanced systems of cloaking and energy management are going to be installed on the mothership. Indeed. Bye, scaffold. The Tyrannic Raiders are around. They are stealing resources. Now you are a commander. You have new units available. I noticed. Destroy the Tyrannic Raiders. We will give support with Interceptor Squadron. Alright. Sounds good. Recover the core. We need it to activate the mothership. Be careful. The level of radiation is very high. And we don't know what you will find there. Sounds good, man. All right, what's up, Scaffold? How are you doing? Copy. Moving to destination. Assembly. Oh, I never built that. <laughs> Excuse me. 
The mobile scaffold is equipped with the hyperspace module. It allows us to move through a limited area by the hyperspace jump. You can use it to exit the nebula with the carrier if necessary. I will definitely do that. Um, let me go ahead and cue you. Let's go ahead and jump over here. We're going to jump to about right here. So we have enough room to assemble our fleet. Initiating hyperspace jump. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I have no idea how long it's going to be. Um, hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully it's not too short because I will be cutting a lot of this stuff out because most of it is just waiting for the, the thing to get done. And um, in the next episode, we are going to fight the Tyrannic Raiders, wipe them out, and then we're going to go and recover the hyperspace core and see what happens next. In the last build, that's all I could do because I think I made a mistake. Instead of destroying the Tyrannic Raider ship, or flagship, I captured it, which uh, you're no longer able to do anymore. They um, got rid of that ability. So, and I think that kind of glitched the whole mission because I think you're supposed to destroy it, which spawns the hyperspace core, which you're supposed to send to the mothership. So... Hopefully this time we can actually get further. So anyways guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you do. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet. Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 1134489 We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.